Oh, okay. Um, I'm really excited for this video today because we're going to talk about um, Ramadan. Some tips that can just get us, help us get through the Ramadan and especially in this lockdown period. So I think it will be helpful to me and then to you also. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back everyone. And if you're new here, you're welcome. And I really appreciate you being here. So just press that subscribe button and yes, press that mic to get notifications when I post any video. Yes, that one. Yeah, thank you. Okay, today I'm really excited for this video because we'll be talking about Ramadan. We're going to talk about Ramadan. I will be sharing a few tips that I, yes, that will help us through the month. But first, I admonish, I admonish that these these um tips are for me first, then you too. Okay, um, we're going to spend Ramadan this year in a very hard time. It will be hard for us because almost everywhere is locked down. People are not moving. Gatherings, people are. Um, gatherings are not encouraged and we're encouraged to have um, social distance and all because of this pandemic going on. So Ramadan is the month of mercy, the month of um, Rahmah, blessings, happiness, patience, endurance, helping one, one another. It's just a month of positive vibes and all. So I would like to start with um, family time. Tip number one, spend quality benefiting um, family time not quantity time most people think misunderstand the term quality time for quantity time when you spend quality time with your family is when you interact with them get to know one another you rediscover that person you discover a whole new individual every day that is quality time you pray together eat together you just do a lot of things together that will help you be in touch with your family and bond with one another. But when you spend quantity time is when you just stay under the same roof, eat the same food, but not connecting with one another. You rediscover a whole new individual every day with your family members when you spend quality time, not quantity time. Don't misunderstand the two. And uh, I just want to say, Alhamdulillah, this year I'll be spending Ramadan with my family. And I'm just so grateful and looking forward to it. Because for the last four, past four years, I've been spending Ramadan at school. I was alone in a totally different place. Well, they're just here and I just kind of miss out on everything. So this time I'm just planning to spend the most, to spend the most and live every moment the most out of everything i just i'm just so grateful for it alhamdulillah and tip number two is pray a lot just pray um, this there are some du'as that we have from the quran and some supplications that we have from the quran and also from the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa uh, supplications like la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kunchum maqalimi this is like a popular supplication to almost everyone but i just want to remind us it is really vital in this period to just keep saying it, keep supplicating to Allah and keep praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease this tension, to ease everything that is happening because it is only Allah who can help us. We cannot do anything. And also, la hawla la quwata illa billah can also help us through this. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil. And also um, this famous dua from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahumma inni أعوذ بك من البرص والجنون والجذام ومن سيء الأسقام. Every calamity that befalls the Ummah, when we pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He will see us through, guide us, and ease everything for us. We really pray that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala grant us mercy and forgive our shortcomings, and also do a lot of istighfar. Just seek forgiveness from Allah for our sins, for our shortcomings, and every and everything. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us forgiveness, forgives our sins, our shortcomings, and grant us mercy. Number three is rediscovering the spirit of Ramadan. Yeah, this should have been the tip number one, but it's okay. And when, we re when I say rediscover the spirit of Ramadan, it's also rediscovering yourself and 
the Ramadan itself, it's like we have forgotten what Ramadan is all about. Mostly when we say Ramadan, what really comes to our mind is iftar, taraweeh, and all. Yes, this is Ramadan. It consists of iftar, taraweeh, and oh, everything. But when I say the true, the true meaning, the true idea behind Ramadan is for us to reach out, to feel what the less privileged feel, and reach out to them. Not everybody can afford a single meal party. Not everybody can afford two square meals or three square meals party. When we fast for 10, 9, for 6 to 10 hours, you feel that hunger, that thirst. It is all what somebody is going through every day. Not everyone is a person who... There are people who cannot afford a single meal per day. So when we fast and we feel that, it gives you a sense of empathy and sympathy. Then it will help you, it will make you to reach out to them and help them, feed them, give them sadaqah. In whatever ways we can just to help, this is the true meaning of Ramadan. And then we have the taraweeh, the nawafir, the iftar and all that is also part of Ramadan but this time it's like you're going to rediscover yourself you 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 tend to discover what 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 will help you improve self-development is part of it and just a lot of things that you don't know about yourself you develop new skills which is part of self-development you just discover new things about yourself and then the real intention about Ramadan in a nutshell what I'm just what I just want to say here is the tips what, that I will share with you. It's all about family time and then uh, family time and prayer. Tip number four is have a healthy relationship with the internet and television. Yes, have a healthy relationship with the internet and the television. What I mean by this is it's Ramadan and we are fasting and it's everywhere is, is locked down. Only a few of us go to work, so we'll be probably spending our time at home doing nothing, mostly during the day doing nothing. So somebody will just say, okay, let me just keep myself busy with my phone or with the television. Let me just keep myself busy with that. No brother, no sister, there are things that you can do to keep yourself busy with, not just the internet. When you spend most of your time with your phone, mostly on the internet, you're just probably not doing anything beneficial or something that would add something beneficial to your life. You are spending your time not wisely in Ramadan. And in Ramadan, we want to spend our time, be, we want to spend our time beneficial. We want to make everything rewarding. Whatever you do, you would want to earn rewards. You can just stay there. You can decide to nap, maybe from Zuhur to Asr. Yes, that's a good period to take a nap, or you can just um, recite the Quran. That's a good thing, and you can just do some supplications. Subhanallah, aham, kalimatani. There's a popular hadith of the Prophet. Kalimatani khafifatan khafifatani an lisani, thaqilatani fi lisani, habibatani ilal rahman. There are two words: they are light on the tongue and heavy on the scale, and. Um, Habibatan ila Rahman and loving to the uh, most merciful. That these two words, these two um, words are Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al You can just sit there and just keep repeating these words endlessly. I just want to um, urge the brothers on this to please help the sisters with the house chores, especially in Ramadan. It is really tiring. Even the Prophet وسلم, was reported to help his wives with the house chores. So just help your wives, your sisters, your mothers with the house chores in every possible way that you guys can. It really means a lot to us and we really say a big thank you in advance. So just help out. And I really want to say a big thank you and give a big thumbs up to our health personnel, um, security workers, government workers, and uh, the NGOs, the health personnel, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are the true heroes. In the spirit, you, we sit, we are, we stay at home 
I do this every day. You don't get to stay with your family. You go out every day and go to work. This is really hard for you guys. I know this. I just want to say a big thank you to you and the security personnel for making sure that we stay safe and we stay at home. Thank you guys. We appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much, Jazakumullah Khair. And also the NGOs that knock from that go from house to house to deliver foodstuffs to people, last privilege. You guys are real heroes. Thank you so much. Jazakumullah kull al khair. Jazakumullah kullikum. Thank you so much. And with that, I say thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you find this helpful and I hope it helps me and you all to see through and see us through this period because it's really going to be hard. We all know that. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us Ramadan when we are in the best state of health and he grants us peace and mercy and every form of blessing that is in this month. And, sub and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us the ability to make the best out of it and also get closer to him. Assalamu alaikum. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about this video and things you would want me to make videos on next. And I will be making videos in Ramadan about Ramadan this season. So just let me know in the comment section if these tips are helpful. And if you have your own tips you would want to share with us, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much, Zakumullah Khair, for, for watching. Just let me know what you think. Thank you. It will, it will really mean so much to me. If you would share this video out and just let, just keep spreading it, let a lot of people know about it. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and just let's keep, let's keep uplifting each other. Thank you so much.